Go on, get him out of the van. Angel, they're here. Down, Mob Pop. <laughs> God, please don't kill me. I just started this job three days ago. I'm just a driver. I didn't ask for your resume. Why did we take the driver? You always want to take more than one hostage, mm -hmm. at least two hostages. Mm -hmm. It's a good rule of thumb. Just in right. case you need to shoot one right. of them. Okay. I'll show you right now. <laughs> you look like a hoped up Dookie Hauser. You got what you want. You don't have to shoot anyone. Is that so? Then this should be pretty straightforward. The code did the case. Wait. You know what's in the case, right? The code? I ventilate your kneecap. You paint quite a picture. Six, seven, seven, two. Bar out. Call Max. Let him know we found what Lord Menace requested. <laughs> In a world so filled with villainy, criminals who think themselves above the law, the only thing standing valiantly among the shadows between this city and total anarchy... Heroes. ...is justice! We are that justice angel gang, and when the people cry, save us, we whisper. No problem. <laughs> Citizen, no need to thank me. Villains know when they've been outmatched. I got this. Is this what Lord Minnis was expecting? We have the Thorium compound. You will be handsomely rewarded. Move your men out. I don't take no orders from a goddamn toaster in a straitjacket. Would you like to see what this toaster is capable of? This deal's getting worse all the time. Come on!
Thank you for coming in, Mr. Martin. Your resume is adequate. We'll let you know. Well, that's it? I understand the question. Don't you need more background? No. More experience? No. Because I can go get you. Off the record, Mr. Martin, this is not the type of resume that's going to land you a position with our company. You haven't worked in eight months. It's not my fault. The economy's rough. <laughs> not for us. We'll let you know. Joe, how are you? Mira won't let me smoke in the house anymore. See you, Carl. Have a good one. Entering enemy territory. Ooh, good call. Someone call me Loser. Slug. Sarah! Don't distract her, she's making my sandwich. Don't distract her, she's making my sandwich. Weirdo. Boom! Headshot! Oh! Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry, baby. It's okay, I it's okay. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Is no, it okay? I think so, here. Yeah. Good evening at interviews. Well, it couldn't be any rougher than it was this morning. Didn't go well? No, it's horrible. I mean, I feel like I'm saran wrap and they're just looking right through me onto the next guy. Let's see. Alright, I think you're okay. Yeah? Hero. I know. You'll catch a break on the next one. All right? Uh, that's it for today. No more. Time. Actually, I got you another interview. Muriel's son said there was a job opening where he works. It's it's decent hours, not great pay. Where? Just right around the corner. Hmm. Doing? Hmm? Doing? Management. Oh. That one. <clears throat> Waste. Garbage? Joe, I know that it's not ideal. Baby, I got interviews. Interviews don't pay mortgages. I know. I'm supposed to be the man of the house and I can't even buy a carton of eggs. Joe, that's so weather. But baby, I just don't think right now is the time for me to look at being a garbage man. Waste management. I deal with enough garbage all day long. my sandwich ready? Speaking of wasted garbage. Now's not the time for pride, Joe. Yeah, Joe, when are you gonna stop leeching off my sister? I don't leech off your sister. <laughs> At least he tries, which really? is more than I can say for you, yeah. Did you know he spent the last few days watching Judge Judy marathons? Baby, I was exhausted. Seriously? I got stressed. I got stressed. Oh. Over what? Hearing you have sex in the next room. What? Yeah, you have thin walls. And seriously, what is up with the monkey? Man? You can hear that? Yes, I can hear that. How thin are our walls? Uh, baby. I hope you freaking choke on that sandwich. Baby. Sad Sarah, no, Sad no. Sarah need monkey, Sad Sarah needs Stop. sexy monkey. Stop, seriously. What, what? This is serious. I know it's serious. Why are you so serious? We're Why's not boy, kids I anymore. I know we're not kids, but I took care of us then and I'll take care of us now. I know, babe, but I'm the one with all the responsibility now. Okay, and I know, I know it's not easy, but we have to do this together. Okay, I can't do this by myself. We're a whole. Really? Because I, because I said whole. Well, you're the one that said it. Oh my God! What is wrong with you? I, look, oh, I want to feel like a man again. I do. I mean, I remember the stories you used to tell me about when your dad left. Now you took care of everyone. And I want to do that for you. I want to do that for us. 
then you're right. You've, you've carried this burden way too long. Okay, you need to just go into those interviews and just show them how amazing and confident you are and lie. Lie? Not, not, not lie, not lie. Just, just show them how important and good you are, okay? Because you deserve it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can do that. Couldn't do any worse, could it? My hero. You feel like a man to me. Do I? <laughs> Do you want it? Yes. Do you want it? Yes. Yes? Do that again. Yes. Do it more. <laughs> Do it till milk comes out. Oh Are you thirsty? There you go. Just drink it. <laughs> Are you sure there's nothing else in the paper from today? Yes. No, baby. I... At all the job? I am. I'm looking at it right now. Right well, now. Well, don't feel like you have to hold back. It's okay to exaggerate a bit on your qualification. Yes. Just right. get your foot in the door. Yes, yes, yes. Are you even listening, Joe? You know what? Let me let me give you a call right back. Okay, let me know how Come it goes. On. I saw something. Love you. Okay, you too. Are you here for the interview? No, no. Incorporated. Yes, sir. We still have one position available. Tomorrow between one and two. Great. Thank you. We'll see you then. Yes, how can I help you? Hi, I'm Joe Martin. I called about the ad in the paper. It's a three o'clock appointment. Yes. I like your look. Different. Very average citizen. Thanks. Hey man, should I come in a costume or something? Oh no, man, it's for the kiddos. For the kiddos. Now it makes sense. So you guys do this stuff for like birthday parties and bar mitzvahs and like conventions with the comic books and stuff? Yep. This job's a joke. Really? Yeah, there's no crime left in the city. All that's left is the Went to yahoos and geeks running around in spandex trying to out virgin each other. I mean, you at least look like you might be normal, like you took your action figures out of the package and you maybe played with them a little bit. You touched the boob. Well, this guy. Hey, buddy, what are you supposed to be, a smurf at the prom? Oh, come on, Wallace, don't act like you don't know me, man. You think that costume fools me? We went to elementary school together. You used to cry every day on the playground. I don't think I'd call you for an emergency unless you could use your super sissy tears to put out a fire. Hey, go home. Go ahead, man. Go home and cry to mom, Betsy Wetsy. I'll be over to beat you up and take your lunch money. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I guess it's it's a paycheck. So, but my wife says I, I I should exaggerate. Oh hell, man, exaggerate. Put it all out there, dude. Yeah. I'll eat it up. Oh yeah. Mr. Garrett, to conference room A. Mr. Garrett. Those. All right. Well, hey, good luck, man. Hey, you too. My name is Batman. I am defender of old technology. Next. Yeah, I'm a 401k. Next. I'm the magpie, and basically, I'm like Aquaman, but for birds. Do you guys want to hear my bird calls? Next. I'm a super. You need a super. Next! I do own a massive collection of goats. I am the mighty placeholder, the hero's Next. hero. Next! Captain Killdevil. Ahoy. I am Captain Crow's Feet. Next! I'm sorry, you're the nudist? Yeah, or I mean Glenn. But the nudist is fine. I just don't see how that's a superpower. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm glad you so. You can go now. Huh? Go now. Did I get it? Go now! Mr. Martin to conference room A. Mr. Martin, conference room A. You 
motivation is to stay married. What was your name again? Joe. Just average Joe? Mm-hmm. Yep. I like it. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself, Joe? Um, sure. I actually have a passion against evil. I actually just got back from the East Coast where I was battling my arch nemesis, the Crusher. Uh, he threw me into a building in Manhattan. It crumbled all around me. But I was able to fight my way out and disarm the two nuclear warheads that were ready to destroy life as we know it. Or as they know it. Where's your costume? Oh, you see, that's my trick. I like to blend in. That way the villains, they don't see me coming. And then BAM! I zap them with my eye lasers. Can we get a demonstration? <laughs> Do you have a death wish? <laughs> <laughs> How strong are you? Mm -hmm. Strong enough to lift about three school buses over my head at the same time. As strong as Hercules? <laughs> I need Hercules for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, you would. Oh, bro. <laughs> wow, I, A plus for showmanship. Yeah. Um, could you tell me your powers again? Sure. Uh, I can fly, of course I can shoot laser beams out of my eyes, and uh, oh yeah, I'm bulletproof. <laughs> so we might as well just call you the ultimate crime fighter. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? I don't know. Well. <laughs> uh, quite honestly, Joe, you're the best candidate we've seen all day. Yeah, all day we've had, uh, my dad sent me here on a rocket ship, or uh, I got bit by a radioactive whatever. But this is bold. Yeah. Audacious. Would you give me and my colleague a moment to confer? Sure. Chat away. Hey, how'd you do that? <clears throat> Congratulations. Really? Yep. Welcome aboard. No way, my wife is gonna be so excited. You don't even know. Well, let's get you over to HR and get everything squared away. Okay. Did you say you were married? Yeah. You don't hear about that much in this field, except for the partners. Well, all that's left is to get you to HR, get you fitted, get you out on those streets fighting crime. Thanks, so was it an optical illusion? The way you move so fast? Oh, that's my superpower. Oh. Wait, did you say fighting crime? Transferring to main headquarters. Hello? Phase three commencing. Observe all Hello? safety procedures. I'm in the dark here. Hello? Hey, I'm looking for HR. I am HR. Heinrich Lamostein. But you can call me... Dr. Mystico. I apologize for the state of my lab. Oh, I'm here. It's getting changed. Wait, so what's phase three? You like it blue, average Joe. Blue collar makes sense, yes? We're going to go with a very basic look this time. Oh, here we go. This will do, both of them. Uh, so do kids get to see all this back here? Kids? No, th this is no place for children. Are you mad that they could touch this and particles and molecules would get mixed up and this is, hasn't been washed? The children could come and they could flip this and all hell would break loose. Would break loose. I thought I was filling out paperwork, not briefs. You're a funny one. Now that you got your suit, let's move on with the mission. Mission? Now exactly what do you mean by mission? Crime fighting. Welcome to the party, pal. Oh boy. All right, let's move chemical plane break and just turn it to a hostage situation. Uh, wait. Hostages? Wait a minute. There must be some mistake here. Wait. See you there, Doc. Are you guys real superheroes? I'm a pacifist. A what? I'm a science officer. I, I don't believe in violence. It's, it's icky. Hold that thought. Are you in the vicinity of Cash and Lincoln? 1089 in progress at 1988 Cash Avenue. Be advised several armed gunmen have taken hostages. Suspects are considered armed and extremely dangerous. All units in the area respond. Captain, they're here! 
Park time! I'm, I'm in back. the call, but the captain's in charge. Briggs, go get five more coffee. Captain secretary! Selling barrel! I'm we not swatting. You bring me the mighty morphin powder puff rangers? Oh, someone's still bitter because you didn't make the cut to the superhero. Not my fault he has brittle bones. I hate you, Larry. Now, who the hell are you? Uh, name's Average Joe. Uh, he's a new captain, but he checked out. He's bulletproof and he's got lasers that shoot out of his eyes. Well, then what the hell are you letting him He let me! Hey, what the hell is <laughs> Jesus, there's 39 of them! Whoa! There's a bunch of maniacs in there with some hostages. And they got this building rigged to blow with a whole shitload of C4. Sounds like an A6 scenario. Suppose we need someone bulletproof to lead the charge. No one knows what you're saying. Joe! You're the only one qualified! No, I'm not even supposed to be here! I'm not supposed to be doing Listen, this! Why in the disable it? Hell, blow it up for all I care! Just get it the hell out of here so we can all go home! Do what you were born to do. Be a hero. I'm getting massive power readings! Who is this? Angel Gang! Not his style! Unless he's working for someone else! Let's move! Someone wake up, Larry! Thing. Is it the red one? Is it the green one? You're not helping me! In movies, it's always the green one. I'm sure it's always the green. What are you doing? Are you touching the bomb? Are you even qualified to touch the bomb? Are you even a real hero? You lied? You mean you hired us? Shut it, Hank! I'm Night Watchman. On the Guys, if I could just say something you, really quick. You could have done a better hey guys. job. Oh, I think I could. I think it's fair. Oh, so it. you're There's saying I made out. a mistake? It's guys, fair. I just want to say what's the I don't what? make what? mistakes. Just one second. What? This thing's about to go off. Balls. Mrs. Mayor, this is unacceptable. But have faith. You made the right decision. Did I? Your heroes cleaned up the city ten years ago. They did it quietly. No theatrics. No spectacle. I won't tolerate any mistakes, Mary. I can send you back to that crummy PR firm you came from. Oh, and rethink the uniforms. You look like Zorro's fat cousin. Should we kill him? We took an oath. I ain't gonna say anything. Mary, I recognize that device today. 
the angel is working with who I think. We're all in great danger. So what do I do now? So you go back to your wife, tell her you got the job, we'll see you in the morning. Mm. Hey. Been gone all day. Yeah, the uh, the interview went long. Is that good or bad? Bad. Bad enough to get the job? What? <laughs> I got the job. You got the job? Baby, I did Are it. Are you joking? No, You're no. You're serious? I did. I got oh the God, job. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, let me take your clothes off. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Just us. Just, just stay there. Hey, boss. How'd the test go? Cops came. We had to set off the bomb and ditch the device. That sucks. Okay, listen here, Iron Dick. We're risking our lives out there. We're putting our necks out there every night, and you're going to pay me three times my price. Or I'm going to tear your little ass apart. Manners, Angel. Max is an indispensable part of my plans, whereas you have a rather expendable quality about you. Lord Menace, we're taking all the risks and we're getting almost none of the reward. By all means, leave. I'm sure there are plenty of other vultures in this city who would be happy to take your place by my side. However, if we fail to execute my plans, these heroes won't leave you with much of a feast. You see, your business model is based on profit, greed. I pay you well. My plans are result-based, and you haven't delivered. My device could have been tested properly today had you not called attention to yourselves. Maybe you're just feeling a little burned out. Whoa, 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 okay, hey, oh, whoa, hey, hey, okay, look, 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 put that away, just, there's no need for this, okay? I'm going to be dead in the middle of this. Okay. I'm out. When the machine is capable of withstanding the power surge, Max and I will make our final move on Heinrich and the heroes. Soon, not even time itself will be able to stop me. <laughs> it takes to make this work. Morning, Fisher. Good morning. Good morning. Did you make me cookies? No, I didn't, because somebody kept me up last night. Yeah, that's because I was having sex. I was thinking I have teacher in service day today, so maybe I could just Stay home for a little while before you start your job. That would be amazing. Yeah. Hey, I meant to ask you, what's the job anyway? Oh, um, it's nothing really. I just, uh, working in a lab and... Somebody's here. Who? A lady that's looked like she's pinching no. a dime between her ass cheeks and a hunky scientist. Mm. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, babe. That's for me. That's for me. I gotta go. I forgot they picked you up the first day. I gotta go. Okay, hey, love you. Love you. Bye. That you choke on that. What the heck? 
What is that even doing here? This is my freaking house. What? This is my house. What are you doing here? This is my temple of Zen. We carpool. Oh, I guess you failed to mention that yesterday. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Did I fail to mention that? I must have been distracted by a massive explosion you caused. That's a good point. That's a good point. So... Usually just us. Larry's the only one that can fly. Well, I did offer to rectify such things. I'm still hungry. Well, here, go nuts. Hmm. Who's that? Oh, that's my sister-in-law. She's a handful. Hmm. I'll bet she is. Monkey man's eating my cookie. Who does she think she is, opening the door for my husband? Jealous? Just don't like fast women, that's all. Since you're clueless about being a superhero, here's the brief. Teams before us wiped out crime over the last decade. We only recently got reactivated. In the past six months, crime has gone up over 62%. If we go public, the mayor thinks we won't have the support we need. It's my job to keep us on track and covert. Hey, so why'd you put the ad in the newspaper then? It was for heroes to read. Is that why you put in the super secret superhero newspaper? I thought hiding in plain sight was best. Besides, who took that ad seriously? Yeah, the uh... Most people thought it was for kids' parties and they were easy enough to dismiss. So you're just saying you just made a mistake? Whoa, would you look at that? Hank is up early. Does he live here? He never leaves. Both of his parents were heroes. He has a lot to live up to. Uh, the emergency beeper, please. Yes, thank you. And uh, always remember to bring an extra change of clothes. Hey, when do we get paid? Everyone. Crime doesn't pay, but being a hero sure does. <laughs> Send you out with Hank. Learn the ropes. Doc will be working on your new suits. So what are his power? Hank doesn't have any. Both his parents were supers. Yes, when both parents are heroes, it usually doesn't get passed down to the kiddos. Like I apologize for being rude. Good morning, Joe Martin. What is that? That, my chubby friend, is a supercomputer Hello. mainframe. My name is Lexi. Hi. hi, my name's Joe Martin. It can do anything that you ask it to do. Ask it anything. Anything. I, I can use a tuna. Okay, Joe. That's it? That's all you got? Located towing service ask in your it neighborhood. Good. Computer. Yes, Larry. Give me a Bloody Mary. Blood alcohol levels indicate you've already had two. I don't care if I've already had two. Don't worry. You're... Your AA sponsor will Are be... Are you a computer or my mother? ...your court-appointed attorney. Answer his question. A towing service has been dispatched to your residence. No now. way! The minutes of your vehicle is assigned to Hank Horowitz. I'm surprised it didn't respond with, Your car's a piece of crap. Or your car's a piece of crap. Welcome to the team. So you're going to be teaching me the ropes, huh? I'm guessing there's a lot to learn. You know, I really appreciate all the help with this tune-up and everything. I mean, I've just been out of work for so long. Sarah and I, we just really couldn't afford this. Hey, so I guess you learned all this stuff from your dad. I mean, he was pretty good, huh? Hey, you ever think about asking Doc for help in the superpowers department? He tried making me a suit once. I'd rather use what God gave me. Well, that's noble. You know what God gave me? Thighs that rub. So do you think Doc's gonna get me a cool suit to wear? I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited about this. I know it's just a temporary one, but it's gonna be awesome. I mean, you know, I, I guess it's just one of the perks, right? Like, you get to say cool things, like, stop, evildoers. You get to wear cool outfits. You get to swing from rooftops. I mean, hey, have you guys ever thought about doing like a slow-mo walk, like in Armageddon, where you all just kind of walk out? You know you could die from doing this. All heroes in the downtown corridor, please respond to a 1070. Break in at refined metal storage unit. Proceed with caution. First appearance in front of your enemies, everything. No fear. Yeah, but I'm not ready. No fear. I'm not ready. No fear. I'm not ready. Wait. Stop evil doors. It is I, the Night Watchman. Sarah. Sarah. And it's also I, Average Joe.
Holy crap, it's a kid. Let's get out of here. Impressive. Yeah? You think so? Because when we first got out here, I was kind of nervous. Then my adrenaline was pumping, and everything was just going good. Bobby. I'm a watchman. No, I'm not watchman. We've been over this before. Who's the friend? My name's Joe. Average Joe. No, don't. What? He's like five. Very dangerous six. You got whipped by a kid? He's no kid. He's Satan's minion. He's six. A very dangerous six. So much for getting your part-time job at Jimboree. You know, I should have hired that kid when I had the chance. Six a.m. tomorrow. What's up? What's up? It's worth it. It's worth it. It's 6 a.m. I am. They're calling me. I gotta go. I gotta go now. Oh. Good morning. I love you. The heart of a hero should never be in doubt. We hold ourselves to a higher standard. We do not allow ourselves to understand fear. Over the next few weeks, I'll be slowing myself down, not for my benefit, but for yours, so that you can see what is expected of a real hero. If you make a great entrance, in your enemy's mind, half the battle is already won. Make no mistake, gentlemen. My job is to break you, to punish you, to push you to your very limits so that when you are faced with certain death, you will stand strong, proud, fearless, like a true hero. Let's go! Never, under any circumstances, reveal your secret identities. Shut up, Larry. Why do you always tell me to shut up? Baby catch. Baby catch? Yeah. Baby catch. I'm gonna fling babies at you. In an emergency, know your rallying points in the city.
to make a video for you with that outfit I was telling you about. Doctor, I wasn't feeling very good today. Would you like to take my temperature? Mommy! It's blue. Oh, Shit. Oh my god, that was so exciting. Is it? Yes, I get to be an aunt. Is it? What am I gonna do? What, what am I gonna tell Joe? He's gonna be excited, won't he? But he's never here, Em. I mean, this whole job thing? You think you think that I wanna do this on my own? Wait, 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 wait. We are talking about a baby, right? What are you wearing? The test for the machine was successful. We've waited a long time for this moment, Lord Menace. Time is a binding concept that we no longer have any use for. Max, I believe we should visit an old friend. I'm sorry, Heinrich. My system shows that with the current power source, the new average Joe suit will not maintain plasma levels. Suit failure at 93.7%. So then why am I getting power drains? Would you like me to run diagnostics Maybe, again? Heinrich, uh, uh, wiring is bad. Power source inadequate. Maybe a flying suit was too much. Actually, it might not be. Theoretically, your flying average Joe suit could work. It seems with the internal wiring and plasma emitters, the best power source for us could be the remaining terrinium element. With the terrinium power source, Flight capability success increases to 85.2%, well beyond our acceptable 70-30 ratio. Maybe Joe's suit is the reason we've been holding on to the Terrinium all these years, Heinrich. Heinrich, my system is showing unauthorized access to Northwest Corner 3. Unauthorized access to main power panel. What for? Lexi? Hello, Heinrich. At last, we meet. Joe, is that you? Yeah, it's me. No. Close your eyes. I didn't forget our anniversary. Close your eyes. Linda. Come with me. Okay. What are you doing? Just a little surprise. Okay. Where's Emily? At our mom's. Oh, a little surprise. No peeking. Okay. Okay. Right here? Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope you like it. Oh, baby, I love everything you do. You know that. Three. Two. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, baby, Joe, Joe just two no, seconds. Baby, I'm sorry. That I went, but this is an emergency. It's an emergency. Joe, that is all that you ever have anymore. Baby, this is my job. Oh, even when they call you out at 3 a.m., that that's your job? Sarah. I don't need this from you right now. Okay, I can't do this by myself, Joe. You have gone from one extreme to the, to another. I never see you anymore. Sarah, you know that I love you, but I have to go do this. My hero. I know. All units, all units, please respond to a 1033. Warehouse fire at City Property Warehouse at 10100 Riverside. Armed suspect possibly on the scene. Report of explosions heard on the premises. Proceed with caution.
the hell? What happened? Looks like someone paid you guys a visit. The only one that was here was Mystico. So you work here at these facilities? Yes, my name is Dr. Mystico. I'm part of a superhero team, and this here is our uh, main headquarters. Our Whoa. main headquarters. Yes, sir. Well, can you tell us what happened here tonight? It was a fire fight! Ma'am, can you tell us your name? Do you work with this gentleman? If you want to comment, you'll have to go through the mayor's office. What is the mayor's office? The mayor's office! Did anyone call Captain Helen back? Yes, they're on their way. So, Doc, you're telling me this has all been the same guy? For a while now, we have suspected a certain someone at the heart of this crime wave. His name, Lord Minnis. Look, Doc, at first it was just theft and gathering of materials and resources. But then at the warehouse? When I was first with you guys? There was a machine, a time portal, but it was missing a very important piece of a puzzle. It required a power source of extreme magnitude, just like the one. In your suit. Doc, what did you do? I think you can fly now. What? 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 You've got 30 seconds. Mrs. Mayor. And you, who said you were fit to give interviews and to talk to my office for an official statement? Mrs. Mayor, you have every right to be upset with me. Do I? I left you in charge because you said you could handle it. And it turns out you're the worst one out of all these degenerates. Mayor, I think these guys might be on the Just if you keep him on a short leash or I'll have him kicked back in traffic duty. Do you get me? Yes, sir. This crime wave is only the beginning. That's ominous. I think this is all just a shakedown. There is no threat. The city doesn't need you. Let the real heroes handle this hiding behind desks in whatever profession you had before this. This project is terminated. You're an embarrassment to women. what you could. Now there is no confirmation from Martian investigators yet that reporters did manage to speak to a man calling himself Dr. Mystico, who may have been involved. Reporters on the scene were interrupted by a woman, possibly implicating the mayor's office as well. For now, the scene has been closed off by police and arson investigators, and neither the mayor's office nor SAPD has made themselves available for comment. Certainly not as large as your last office, but uh, it's nice to have you back from wherever you were. Latte! Mommy! Arctic winds are bristling 
Good news only, Max. Otherwise, I'll turn you into a bread warmer. We still cannot find Mystical, and the mayor's office has disbanded the heroes. Then that means they'll be lost forever. My frequency intercepted a call to a TV station. A woman named Emily reporting that she knew Mystical but does not know his location. She stated her brother-in-law works with him. It could be the hero we've heard about. Average Joe? If that is indeed her brother-in-law, then I'd very much like to find out who his wife is. And where we can find her. But... why Average Joe? Leverage, Max. In times of crisis, this city needs its heroes. If we find Average Joe, we find Mystico. It's moving day! Unfortunately, we have been politely asked to dispose of my life's work. That's okay. That's okay. I really wanted to see this in action. Well, to see you in action. Did you sleep here last night? Sarah left. It's no sweat, Joe. Do you know what the divorce rate is for superheroes? Me neither. I'm sure it's pretty high, though. Who wants pancakes? Me. Wearing this shirt. Okay, let's keep it orderly, please. Single file line next to your bus buddy. Quietly. Hello? Sarah, you left before I had a chance to talk to you this morning. Okay, let me call you back in, okay? I'm getting too slow to for a field trip. No, Sarah, look. I think I know why Joe hasn't been around lately. I don't have time for this. And don't you dare take Joe's side on this. I'm the one who's pregnant and gonna have to raise this baby on my own. I am not taking Joe's side. Oh, this gets better and better. He's been real secret about what he's doing too, but then last night on the news I just... <laughs> Sir, do you know finally have something important to say? You guys off of the bus right now into the back of the line. Sarah Martin, ah! please put down your phone. You have 20 seconds to comply. Thank you. All units, all units respond to 1033. Armed suspect has hijacked a school bus heading west into the downtown corridor along I-35 near Five hostages taken, including four children and an adult female. Suspect considered armed and extremely dangerous. Proceed with caution. Again, all units respond to 1033. Oh, 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 Anything else? Aspirin. Lots of aspirin. So you and him? Yes, yeah, so, but yeah, she, she doesn't know about us, so he, she definitely doesn't know about Lord Minnis, so we're good. Yeah, tell me more about this Lord Minnis guy. Lord Minnis, he was uh, my mentor. Austria, 1850. He was a brilliant man, brilliant scientist named Hans. Hans. That makes sense. You see, Joe, I was Hans' lab assistant for quite a few years, and we had been developing our theories on creating new power sources. And that's how we created these things quite by accident. Well, what things? Crystals. The crystals that I used to, to teleport. Well, it's not necessarily teleportation. It's more of a moving forward through time, just a few moments. You see, time travel is very tricky. It's, it's quite easy to move forward, but to move back, But Hans was convinced otherwise. You see, time travel requires lots of energy. So we obtained a substance called turinium. 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 And during our first experiments, Hans wanted to keep his hands clean. Hans free. So he wanted me to perform them. 
without telling me exactly how dangerous this was. What a jerk. No! There was an explosion. I was lucky. But Hans was left deformed, changed. Changed to what? To something else. What? He decided to change his name. Lord Minus, which I agree with. It sounds better, cooler, more evil, more menacing. Looks good on a poster. It works, yes, it's more marketing. See, now, as Lord Minnes, he continues his reign, trying to go back, change the mistakes that we have made. Like mistakes I made last night. Recreate history in his own image. Yeah. What, what about the Terinium? The last known Terinium on Earth is contained in your suit. These pancakes look good, don't they? Mm. This is 20 William 12. We are 10 6 in the area, entering I 10 at Woodlawn, joining pursuit of school bus. Hello? Oh. Hello? 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 Stay quiet. Hello. Hello, Heinrich. How are you, my strawberry crepe? I don't know. Why don't you look up and find out? Shit. <laughs> what? You've never had a woman mad at you before. What's this? Morning, Joe. Emma. How did you find us I tracked here? your phone. You're not the only picky in this relationship. I want to know why you were on the news last night and you have some explaining to do. Where's Sarah? Are you what I think you are? Superheroes? <laughs> That's preposterous. Is it? Is it? Is it? Dispatch, we have a visual going east on I-10. Stand by. This is 4 Victor 7. We just spotted an adult female on the bus. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. Just passing the I-35 interchange. What the hell is that? We just lost 7. We just lost Unit 7. Be advised. Shots fired. Shots yeah, fired. I saw that. Thank you. Poor dude! I it's okay, guys. It's okay. Joe. Oh my god. Somebody turn that up. Ten years ago, I'd have been all over that. I'm not sure they'll be able to stop this suspect. Suits in the van, right? We're in just as much shock as you are right now at what just happened. Joe, no, Joe, no, 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 no! I gotta see this. We're gonna stay live with this video as long as we can. No, Joe, no, what are you doing? You can't do this. Actually, you look really good. No, 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 what am I saying? No, you, you can't do this. You're not ready. We're not My ready. My wife's a school teacher, Doc. What if it was her out there? I won't get caught, trust me. I mean, it's like you said. Do what you were born to do, right? Oh, now you listen to me. Okay, Joe, you have a new advanced suit. You just hold your arms out to glide, and the thrusters will adjust you automatically. All right, got it. And, and the terrinium. I'm actually kind of curious myself to see what will happen. Doc. You're going to get killed. Yeah, why aren't you up there? My suit's at the cleaners. Right, right. All right, back up. Everybody, back up. Here we go. Okay, Joe, just ease into the controls and... Oh, yeah, this should end well. A horrific situation that our city is suddenly having to witness. I say again, suspect at the wheel is armed and extremely dangerous, and probably a robot. Too fast, too fast, too fast! <laughs> All units be advised, a blind man has entered the scene. Really? What? Really? Where? Oh, man. I can fix that. Yeah! Yeah! Air, Chris. I thought your suit was at the cleaner. Hey, it was ready a little early. 
right, hang on. We're going in. All units, two flying men have now entered the pursuit. Hold your fire. It's Larry! Max, pick up your visual scanning. Back off, let's give these guys some room. Bring it! Return to base. I think it's time. For my grand entrance. We're not supposed to reveal our identity. You told a news reporter. Nobody ever wants to talk to me. Oh, you're so hot when you're mad. to make an official statement. In light of today's incident on the freeway, we will be doing a complete investigation. Now, we are committed to due process, so please allow us to do our jobs. Any further questions can be relayed to our media relations. Thank you. Oh, Get Captain Johnson on the phone now. Oh my God! We have fun! That was amazing, man. That was awesome. Hold on, wait, you don't got angry. No? Go ahead, go ahead. I don't care what the man said. She can take me to jail, I don't even care. Joe, is that you? Hey, Doc, come Ooh. in! Yeah! Oh, what's with that house? I just need to take a look at your boosters. Sometimes things work good, and sometimes they don't work as good. You just need to get out of that and back into your civilian clothes. Is that a phone? Wait, is it my cell? Joe, it's Sarah! No, I just patch you through. Sarah? Joe Martin? Who is this? I want you to call and tell you what a big fan I am after your splendid performance today. I made a great effort to get your attention this morning, but you flew off before we could properly introduce ourselves. How did you get Sarah's phone? Is Heinrich with you? I believe he calls himself Dr. Mystico. What you failed to notice, Joe, was who was on that bus you saved today. Turn to Channel 8. Mary, did you see what's going on outside? Again, breaking news, gunfire has erupted downtown as gunmen led by two robotic-looking individuals have seized control of the Weston Center. We've also just received a message from a man calling himself Lord Menace, taking responsibility for this morning's bus chase.
we're not gonna have time for a taco, huh? Thank you, Ernie. We are here live downtown, where it appears that a mechanical device has been taken onto the street at Pecan, directly in front of the Weston Center. It appears the device is creating some sort of, of cloud or disturbance in the sky directly above us. Eyewitnesses on the ground are reporting that it is made of some sort of toxic gas, but this is only a suggestion at this point. Neither the police office nor the mayor's office are categorizing this as an act of terrorism. But it is confirmed that the metallic figure spotted in today's highway chase is involved. It also appears that the young school teacher that was kidnapped this morning is with them along with another female hostage. Police are issuing orders that everyone evacuate the downtown corridor immediately. What are you doing here? Team's gonna need us, Mary. I think I don't have time to discuss. So you're gonna watch this whole thing from four blocks away. There's nothing I can yes, do. Yes, there is. Now you can choose to sit on your spoiled ass and do nothing, or you can do what you were born to do. Be a hero. I can't. You're a coward. This morning's freeway chase seems to be just the tip of the iceberg, as a man calling himself Lord Menace has taken over the streets in front of the Weston Center. Along with members of the Angel Gang, they have taken two female hostages and moved a large mechanical device onto the streets. The device in question did fire a beam into the skies above us, and a large cloud of light and energy is currently hovering over the city. The only question is now, if there are in fact superheroes in San Antonio, will they come to the rescue and stop this apparent supervillain? To the man who calls himself Lord Menace, I have a message for you. For far too long, this city's heroes have been forced to sit in the shadows, unsure of their place. Not knowing whether or not the city that they care for would embrace them or reject them. Because of you, our city now faces the greatest danger it's ever known. But I promise you this, not one life will be lost today. Because guarding over this city is this city's heroes. We are your guardians. We are your protectors. Because the heart of a hero is never in doubt. We do not understand fear. Now getting a response from the flying superhero known as Average Joe. And when faced with certain death, we will stand strong. Into downtown in order to spare as many lives as possible. Proud. We are going to try and stay with these 
and fearless. We will leave no one behind. Evacuate everyone. And as for you, Lord Menace, I'm speaking to you not as a hero, but as a husband. You picked the wrong wife to kidnap. Because now, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. It has been an honor, Lord Menace. Yo, Joe! Here to save the city? I'm here to save my marriage! Heinrich, you coward! You left me for dead! You were just a head! How was I supposed to know? I can see that. I can totally see that. You have any idea how long it took me to crawl out of that wreckage? To rebuild a new body? Try using an Allen wrench when you're just a head! Okay, I am genuinely sorry about that. You will be. Give Max the Geridium, Joe. And your wife does not have to suffer. Much. All right, that's it. Max, get me that Trinium. With pleasure. Can't you make anything that works? I said 50-50. Well, I heard 70-30. Here comes Max! Doc, how vulnerable would he be if he didn't have that pin man? Extremely. He would have to fire the Trinium himself. It's revolting! Alright. Can't you just teleport over there? You're so close to the beam in the field with no try that I would be burned alive! I have an idea! Tank! Tank! What'll happen if we overload the grid? I was afraid you'd say that. That's not gonna work, Joe! You've got a better idea, Larry. Now's the time! You and Mary, you just worry about the hostage, alright? It's still buffering. You'll be able to fly, but you can't fire! Yeah, but the suit will keep me protected, right? 70 30. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, if we do this, we're doing it as a team, right? Right. All right, cover fire! Right!
mother was a hero. Your father was a hero. But you, you are nothing. You are weak. Any last words, neutral? My name is Hank. <laughs> You're pregnant? You're a superhero? You're, you're pregnant? You're a superhero? We have a lot to talk about when we get home. Yeah, we do. God, you look in that suit. Go! Go! Get to a safe! Come on! Come on! It's nice to finally meet you, Sarah! One thing I've learned after all these years, Joe! Time is irrelevant. What you're willing to do for it means everything. I can change it all. Be who I was meant to be. Change history. Rewrite every mistake. No more world wars. Right now I'm the villain, Joe. But I change history. And I'm a savior knowing what I know. I can do it all over again, the right way, the way it was meant to be. I'll be damned if you're the end of me. Now die a hero's death. I can go back! Change everything! Think of the future we can make for ourselves! I did think about the future, you son of a bitch! And your history!
Captain Richard Johnson. Emily Ritter. Mrs. Sarah Martin. Larry Leha. Heinrich Rommelstein. Mary Maddox. Hank Horowitz. And the man who protected his family, this city, our newest superhero and the greatest example this city has that anyone is capable of true heroism, Joe Martin. Average Joe.